to appear for a data science interview and are you looking to get a data science job hi everyone welcome to episode 16th of data science and ai weekly my name is manav i am the chief data science mentor at inset and this is data science and ai weekly episode number 16th if you have not subscribed to our channel just subscribe right away so that you don't miss out any update or you don't miss out the next podcast any time whenever that is getting released so let's get started with another interesting episode we have for this episode uh, which is what not to do in data science interviews so the reason this topic is close to my heart is there are some frequent mistakes i see data science uh, candidates who are appearing for data science interviews keep on making and if you avoid this mistake trust me 50% of your job during an interview will become easier right so i'll talk about three particular mistakes to avoid that i see reoccurring very very often reoccurring very very often number one mistake so the number one mistake is bluffing to the recruiter or to the interviewer that you are earlier working in a data science role a lot of people have been taught especially in india that you will get a job if you tell the recruiter or if you tell an interviewer uh, and if you lie about your previous experience and some people what they do is they just say that yes i was working as a data scientist some even go to the extent of faking their designation some go to the extent of lying that i was working on actual data science projects please do not do that interviewers interviewing you right at least expect this level of honesty from you that you should uh, be truthful and secondly what you also need to understand is that the people interviewing you are smart people right they can f- figure out uh, it very easily right whether you have actually worked in a data science role or not right so just be honest uh, the more candid you are the more honest you are about your previous experience right the more confident you will be at the same time the interviewers will also appreciate that that's the first mistake to avoid don't bluff in the interviews the second mistake to avoid in data science interviews is to not ask questions when you are being given a particular case study sometimes what happens in uh, data science interviews is that you might get a mind bender mind bender is say let's say that some question is asked to you in which you are asked to guess estimate a thing for example let's say you might be asked a question like how many cars are right now in parking garages across mumbai this is called a mind bender which is not totally related to data science but helps a recruiter see your problem solving skill now when you get a question like that right you should obviously solve that in a structured way but don't hesitate to ask the interviewer the assumptions that you are making and if you are headed in the right direction right so you are not being tested on the exact answer or the right answer because there's no right answer nobody knows the right answer to these questions but what you are being tested on is the approach that you are taking so follow a very step by step logical approach as long as you are following a logic logical step by step approach that is good enough right so that's a second mistake to avoid which is not asking question and getting scared that if you ask question you might not ac- come across as smart now third question the third mistake is a mistake that a lot of candidates make and this mistake is that when they appear for in their interviews they are not prepared for questions related to their project in depth right so for example there might be a question about which is the most challenging project that you have worked upon now you might have worked upon this challenging project 6 months back or 9 months back and you might have forgotten something about it some of the things about it that's okay but at least you should be able to present it in form of a story what was the problem statement why is it was challenging what was the challenges etc et right so similarly you might be get a question what was the shortest project that you have worked on what is the longest project that you have worked on so all of these are questions that you should practice well beforehand if you have not practiced these questions they might stump you and they will not help you present yourself in the best possible way right so these are the three mistakes that i recommend that everyone should uh, be careful about while appearing for data science uh, inter- interviews 
The last mistake is a mistake again that I see very often uh, that candidates make that they are appearing for uh, data science interviews and let's say that they are coming from software development background. They do not draw the logical conclusion that why a company should hire them as compared to hiring someone who's already working in a data science role. So this applies to for someone who is switching their industry or let's say who is switching their domain. For example, you might be working in testing right now and you're looking to become a data scientist. So you should be very clear that how you got started in this, why this excites you, how this is something that you think that you will be able to excel in. So if you want someone to believe in you, first of all, you should show that commitment that you're committed to becoming successful in this. It should not be just that since uh, everybody, everybody is talking about data science. So I thought that I will also do data science and here I'm appearing for an interview. So that commitment to succeeding as a data scientist is a must. And sometimes I see candidates not showing that commitment in interviews, right? So this is a bonus mistake that you should avoid for uh, in data science uh, interviews. I hope through this episode, you would have gotten some idea about some of the pitfalls to avoid. If you like this episode, leave your comment in the comment section, just like this video. This was episode 16 of Data Science and AI Weekly. This has been turning out to be one of the longest podcast series that I have ever done. And if you like Data Science and AI Weekly series, just subscribe to this channel. And also all the videos that we have done in the past, if you're watching this series for the first time, the link to all the videos is there in the playlist. Go to the description, see the playlist, and tune in to the rest of the thanks for tuning in this is manav i'm signing off now thank you very much